Good afternoon, everyone. Chilling 1200 year old Viking stone warns of future little ice ages. LG announcing new home appliances to guess what? Grow food indoors in your own home to supplement from the supermarkets. United Arab Emirates research underway to help make artificial clouds. They ended up creating record snow across the UAE high peaks, the most rain in 20 plus years, but then they say, no, we weren't cloud seeding at the same time. Yet the news reports say they were. Let's delve into that. What are the scariest things happening in the world right now that could devastate your retirement and savings? The Iran conflict or the disruption of global oil supply in such an event? Global stock market crash? Highly possible. What are you doing to protect yourself from the potential of major economic turmoil? Many are turning to gold and silver, and Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs' top-rated gold IRA dealer. Call today or request a free investment kit. The link's in the description box below. PatriotGoldGroup.com And now, on to the video. Starting us off with a little bit of history here, if they would have known the original meaning of this riddle and story called the rhythm of light, this would have been buried in the archives and our eyes never would have seen it. This was carved by the Vikings, 1200 years old, and it warns of future little ice ages based on cycles of the sun. It talks about the enduring battle of extreme cold weather in the 6th century and their survival and the wipeout of half of Scandinavia during this time. Now the main theme here is apparently the sun, otherwise known as the rhythm of light. And nine of these riddles contained on these stones, five are about the sun, the patterns of the sun, the cycles of the sun, how sun drives our climate, and the civilization cycle. So with the climate hysteria across the planet, how long do you think this will be shown or the true translation will be allowed to circulate through the public? It's not CO2, it's not you. The Vikings even say it's the sun. An interesting timing now that LG coming out with a new home appliance for indoor gardening. I've been saying all along we need to bring all of our agriculture indoor to survive this grand solar minimum and LG announces the perfect solution for just this growing leafy greens in your home to supplement. You don't have to grow everything, but pull a little bit of strain off the supply chain for the rest of us, and I bet these will be in every single home. Watch how the marketing is going to unfurl and move down the road with sustainability over the next year and a half, and I bet there's going to be a huge push to get these in every single home like there was Victory Gardens in the 1940s. A little bit deeper dive into the unit metrics here. It's mimicking optimal outdoor growing conditions with temperature controlled LED lights, air circulation, and wick based water management, which just means there's a pool of water under and there's some kind of medium that pulls the water up into the root system. It's not hydroponic, it's a wicking system. And see, they're trying to market it. Hey, you know exactly where your food's coming from, but all these food shortages we're seeing, it's more about we're going to need to grow our food again, and it's a great cover story to get people to think about it and then market it that direction. And with the Davos crowd and this pushed false green agenda, guarantee this will be right on top of the list here. Give it a year. Now over into the Middle East, right next to Oman, the United Arab Emirates, right next to Saudi Arabia as well. Now research is underway with geoengineering. They like to term it cloud seeding, but same, same. I guess the term that you use for endearment of this program to try to sell it to your citizens. A new method of generating rainfall. Now they came clean with this on January 19th. They even have a couple videos out which I've linked in the description box below. And I found the most interesting diametric opposite of news flow here is what the National Center of Meteorology director said at the same time there was record rain and record snow across the UAE that their cloud seeding was not part of it. The floodings were suddenly somehow based on three years of shifting rainfall patterns. So the other related stories that go along with this, United Arab Emirates smashes 24 year old rain record same days as the cloud seeding. Snow blankets the highest peaks across the UAE exact same days that their cloud seeding so I jumped over to see, I'm interested in the snow in the Middle East more than anything because snow in Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen area, 
that sparks my interest and it should spark your interest too. Jabel Jais is a location that they were focusing on here for a lot of social media. I mean, you go through the social media, there's an enormous amount of people making snowmen and these high peaks are so rare to get this much snow where people can actually make snow forms out of it, people making snow camels, all kind of fun stuff. And then Jebel Jais has its own tourist information website there about the mountain and different activities. And there's some stunning images there too. If you like rock formations and dry, barren ribs of the earth being shown, you're going to really like that site. So where was the location anyway? Well, I circled it in red there. UAE borders Saudi Arabia and Oman as well. But that Persian Gulf is always warm water. So that area... At the very tip, tip, tip is exactly where the mountains are. It's strange that it would snow so much with so much warm water around it. With that microclimate there, you think that it would definitely not be snowing that much. Yep, January 15th. And when the Gulf News goes, wow, and it's literally snowing up there, like they're in shock too that it's snowing up there. And during this same week with all the cloud seeding going on, minus one degree Celsius, the temperature extremely cold and second paragraph there aside from the frigid weather guess what uae hit by heavy rain hail and snow and i i love how they put it there and occasional sunny spells how do you get hit by an occasional sunny spell and then the bottom paragraph there the national center of meteorology assuring us that their cloud seeding operations had nothing to do with all this inclement, strange, unusual, record-setting, multi-decade breaking events that went on in the country in that exact same week. So do you believe them or do you not? So when the wannabe global government tells you that lower CO2 levels are a good thing, I'm like, wait a second, extinction level events right around 280 where plants stop growing. They want to push us back down to around 280? No thanks. I'm not a fan of extinction level events. January 2020, limited edition, Adapt 2030 hoodies and merch. Links also in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.